That's right. Year in review, we're going to tell you guys our top five. I've seen because it's completely different. But do you want to explain to the folks exactly what we're looking at? Sure. We actually have five what we call micro furnaces throughout the cabin. I'm almost tempted to get it just for like the channel for a couple of months. Boom! Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. And I'm Lola. This is Lola Strange. This is Stranger Palooza. And today on the channel, we are going to kind of do an end of year. It's uh, We're at the end of 2022. It's That's December. Right. That's right. And Christmas is coming up. New Year's is coming up. So we want to do kind of like a year in review. A year in review. That's right. Year in review. We're going to tell you guys our top five yep. most... Uh, you know, I want to say like innovative, the best, the coolest stuff that we that, saw in 2022. That's right. In the Class B van world, right behind us is our Coachman Beyond that, you know, we still we still have it. We enjoy it. 44,000 <laughs> miles later. <laughs> yes, we've got a video coming up on that. However, this one is going to be all about the coolest, most innovative, yep. the best stuff that we saw in the year of our Lord, 2022. That's right. Let's do it, Lola. Come on. Come on, stronger. Uh, Bam. <laughs> hey, everyone. A new Vanasaur t-shirt design is out just in time for the winter season. It's called Winter Camping Fun. Even here in the Sunshine State, it feels a lot like winter. If you're a fan of outdoor life, then this is a great way to give someone you care about a gift or get something for yourself and support this channel at the same time. All you have to do is follow the link here on YouTube just below the video description to the Stranger Palooza store, where you will find this Winter Camping Fun design and other fun, cool Stranger Palooza gear. All right, Lola, so for the first part of this video, I really want to thank the people out there. We've been doing this now. This is our second year. Second year, two and, years. Yes, I think we've done a lot of stuff in this year. We've been a lot of places, we seen have. a lot of things. Mm -hmm. We've gone to the Tampa RV show. We went to Ocala, you know, so far as RV shows, we saw a right. lot of that. We yeah. also went to the Overland shows. We went to yeah. two of them this we made, year. We made it all the way out to Flagstaff, which was an awesome experience. Yes, we also, did some factory stuff. We did yes. stuff with Van Duet. We did. Well, and you did. Regency. Mm -hmm. uh, Van Duet is actually in Missouri, in, in Kansas City, Missouri, I should say. And uh, Regency was Texas. actually in Texas. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you're a company out there that you feel like we missed you, you know, we, we look to companies that make accessories and mm -hmm. build vans and do all kinds of stuff within this Class B camper van That's space. Right. So if you feel like we missed you, just reach out to us. We'll be happy mm -hmm. to talk to you, see what it is you make, talk yes. to you guys about stuff. We have a lot of stuff that's going to happen next year, more than we this sure year. We sure do. And you know what? Speaking of companies, we went to Lithionics yeah, we as well yeah. as Sea Sucker. Almost yeah. forgot that. Those yes. Tours. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of companies around the space of Class B camper vans that we saw. But if you feel like we missed it, you know, um, just hit us up and we'll do that. But I do want to thank all the folks who have been watching the channel, oh, yeah. commenting, yep. sharing our stuff, the mm -hmm. people out there that love this kind of content. It's been wonderful because yeah. last year at this time we were at 13,000 subscribers and this year we are at 24,000 subscribers. So. Right, exactly. Yes, we're going to get into those stats mm -hmm. here in a second because I think over our stats or, well, actually over what we think is cool mm -hmm. and innovative and what we think is the best mm -hmm. stuff, the, you know, when you when you're an artist which i consider myself when you create you something yeah you know so are you my love <laughs> you you know <laughs> but you know when you create a thing and you put it out in the world it really doesn't matter what you think mm -hmm. what the folks out there that consume yes. what you create i think that matters the most very true we really need to recognize what the people out there thought yes about our channel yes so you want to we could go to that i'm going to pull out we got notes when we started this year we we're mm -hmm. at 13,000 subscribers yes and now ending the year we're over 24,000 subscribers Woo so <laughs> that's really cool um i look forward to hitting that 25,000 subscribers is going to happen sometime yes. in the new year mm -hmm. so other stats uh 
4 million views. So last year, I think we had 2 million views. That's right. This mm -hmm. year, we got 4 million, so 4 we doubled. Million. Yeah, doubled. we doubled on the views yeah. there. What I would say is that um, subscribers, I think, is important, and I would encourage people to subscribe out there. Absolutely. But I think mm -hmm. that 4 million views, and when you look at YouTube stats, it says there's a lot more people that watch our videos on a regular basis than are subscribed to us. That's true. So uh, Subscribing and ringing the bell just kind of notifies you when something new does go up. But yes, yeah. subscriber numbers is not everything. Right. The algorithm gives you what you want to see. That's right. So if we want to go through the um, like the top five videos according to the people, there's more than this. I'll give you guys all the top ten, but the top five. Do you want to go through that, Lola? Yeah, we can do that. You wanna, you wanna, you could pull it up. You could say the first one. First one. Yeah, okay, because last year everyone said I didn't let you talk. So number so. five, most watched video on the channel for 2022. Number five is Incredible Two Beds Regency Exalta. RLX and yeah. that was a camper van that we saw at the Tampa RV Super Show and right. I think the thing that was cool about that was that there was a, a bunk bed up top then there were bench seats on the bottom yep. that could also be a sleeping area and yeah. it had four chairs all yeah. on a four transit right so that I think is why that was so popular yeah and I think this is one of the videos that's in the top 10 that we actually that actually happened in 2022 so folks really like that van right and that's why we went out to see them at the factory and see how they make it correct because it's it's nice to be able to seat four people and sleep four people mm -hmm. i think so folks out there really like that that was number five yep and actually that got a hundred and fifty thousand views in 2022 that's cool yeah all right so okay number four Number four, you could go for it. What's number four? I'll let you do number four. Okay. Such a sweet layout. This is actually a short. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not a super fan of the shorts, and I know people out there aren't fans of them because, you know, they tend to be less than a minute long. Because they're shorts. So, not everyone likes that. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I think shorts have done really well. And this one, we actually got um, over 900 subscribers on the channel from this short. It's yeah. called Such a Sweet Layout Winnebago Era 70A Sprinter Van. Mm hmm. And that van, we actually did a longer video on that. If you want to see it, it was with Cowboy Willie. Yes. And we were talking yes. about why did he buy that particular uh -huh. van from Winnebago. You guys will see Winnebago here a lot because I think they're the most popular Class B van out there for folks. And he has that. And, uh, you know, rumor says they, Winnebago won't even be making those anymore. Oh, but it was cool. Right? Yeah, it was a okay. cool van. All right. Also, the thing I want to say, this video at number four was actually also a video we created in 2022. Mm -hmm. You guys will see why I'm saying this. And it had, for short, it had 194,000 views, Lola. Yeah. So, I I know. Know, 40,000 more views than the, the last one. Yes. Yeah. So, there you go. So, th there's something to be said for shorts. We're going to do more of them. Hopefully, YouTube is going to get better. It's kind of messing up the algorithm. That's right. So, we're waiting for YouTube to fix the algorithm with the shorts versus regular videos. And then there will be more. Yes. Okay, go to number three. So, number three is the in-depth factory tour from chassis to luxury class b motorhome mm -hmm. this was the american coach factory tour that yeah. we did in elkhart indiana it's funny because this video was actually from last year yeah june of uh, 2021 correct and it didn't do this well actually last year because the last year one of the the, the higher videos according to the people was the coachman factory tour yes and this one didn't do as well it really came into its own in 2022. In 2022, yes. And that's awesome. It got uh, 206,000 views. Jeez. I think there was um, just more interest for some reason. All mm -hmm. of a sudden, you can't, like I said, you can't control that stuff. What the audience is looking audience. for. Yeah. And, yep. and I did change the thumbnail of it, too. And, you know, like, I, I'm, I think I'm coming into these thumbnails now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that got 206,000 views. And uh, we did that in uh, Elkhart. Okay. Number two, is that me or Number you? Number two. Number two, better than a Winnebago Echo? Yeah. So this was Question the Coachman, mark. this was the Coachman Cross Trail. <laughs> right. Um, which we also did in 2021. B, Class B plus C. Yeah. Uh, which was also done in 2021. Yeah. And remain a very popular video because the Echo, I think, continues to be elusive, right? They're out there, but they're not so available. Yeah. I mean, really, the... I put this in the C category. I don't think it's a B, but for marketing purposes, people do push these. As B pluses. And, yeah, as a B plus mm -hmm. to kind of bring it into van life, you know. Uh, listen, I think that's fair. At the end of the day, it is what it is, right? Mm -hmm. It's also not on us. That video actually got 238,000 views. We did it in October of 2021, and it did well. 
then. last year. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, this year it did really well mm -hmm. because of what you alluded to. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Winnebago, there are echoes out there. We've seen them. We've seen them. We actually have at least one video that's coming with Probably. an echo. Mm -hmm. And But that just didn't go out to a lot of people. If you got an echo, you were lucky. So people were looking for alternatives. Correct. And that's and where this fit in. Yes. And you guys will see this come into play later when we talk about our stuff. So there you go. Um, better than an echo, the, the Coachman Cross Trail 20XG. That's right. There you go. Okay. So number one, according to the people, Lola. Mm -hmm is the oh. okay most popular class b rv the new 2022 winnebago travato 59k, 59K. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, i'm just telling you guys the title here we play around with the titles all the time uh it's complete van tour and it was done on october 25th 2021 Again. but it was the number one video in 2022 because all if you notice this stuff happened at the end of 2020 that's true that's yeah. true so rolled into 2022 yeah okay. some of our videos people just love looking at them in there what you call or or, or, or discover them yeah mm -hmm. and that had 286,000 views and i think as i've already said here winnebago is very popular winnebago i think as a big company they do a lot of research and development of their mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. and also they just sell a lot of vans. I think the most popular van is a Travato. I believe so. Which is built on the ProMaster chassis. Right. And you guys will see that also come into play. Do you want to talk about the other the other videos here that were in the t the top ten? I can run down, uh, run it down no, a little bit if should, you want, I think Lola. We move on to our top five. Uh, well, well, because I think that in here, I'll just quickly go through it because. Sure. You'll see, I don't know if any of these, none of these are in our top five, I don't think. But in the top 10, so we went from five. So t uh, number six was tiny Euro style camper van, the Wingham OAC. The Wingham. OAC. Oh, mm -hmm. And then we had number seven was actually OAC Black Edition, which is a short. Uh -huh. So that did well. Then we did uh, this change for 2023 with a uh, luxury sprinter van that's american coach number nine on the list was the thor 300 mile range electric and number 10 was a factory tour that we did with coachman mm -hmm. so there you go that's that's the most popular videos according to the people yes Lola, according to the people yes and i will just quickly look here and see if there's any other stats i want to share with the folks out there okay the watch time on our channel mm -hmm. was six hundred and twenty three thousand hours hours that's a lot that's huge that's a lot i mean it's a lot geez yeah that's awesome so, so again thank you to all yeah. of you out there that are watching <laughs> big thanks to everyone okay now next segment we're going to go into our stuff all right so the thing i want to start with here is that 2022 lola was i think a year for electric stuff not just in the van world mm -hmm. everyone was talking about their vehicles being electric that's right mm -hmm. and the van folks are starting to think about getting into it mm -hmm. we don't we do have electric vans out there so the the basis of a class b is built on these working vans right and they take it and they build within there that's a b when they make it bigger that's a b plus mm -hmm. now there are electric vans out there so transit has the e van out there and i've talked to people about it but in the rv space mm -hmm. in the camping the van life space there are also electric vans that people did themselves, converted themselves and all that. And mm -hmm. probably someone maybe is trying to, to run one of those electric vans, but they have a shorter range, like around 120, 120. 130 mm -hmm. mile range. Yeah. So not really super practical, but everyone's starting to think about it mm -hmm. and say, how are we going to do this? That's right. With all that being said, this is what we thought was yep. the best, the coolest, the most innovative stuff. That of 2022 uh -huh. that we saw that's right. and that we think it was it's cool that's right mm -hmm. okay uh and we're gonna have also we'll throw in some uh honorable mentions okay. i think while we're going through okay. here things that we discovered that mm -hmm. i think you know maybe are not vans or maybe we didn't actually get to experience them okay we'll surprise you guys with that yeah what's the first one lola number five all right that's the thor 300 mile electric range van right Yes. And basically yes. what that is, I'll run in the whole title of that video here for you guys. But what it is, mm -hmm. it's one of these electric vans from Ford that they mm -hmm. added a range extender. That's right. What do you think about this? I thought that was so cool. We saw mm -hmm. that at the Tampa RV Super Show. And they had that. They had the self-parking uh, camper. Yeah. Uh, we did go inside the Ford Transit. It looked really nice in there. Like really thought, of, thought out, uh, really planned. I really liked it. 
Yeah, I think it was well designed. Yes. Now, Winnebago also had their electric uh, prototype vehicle there right. at the show. They did. It looked very normal. It didn't really look like the future. They And I'm not knocking them for it, but it just wasn't as cool as what Thor Group did, and mm -hmm. Airstream is included in that. That's right. Mm -hmm. So they, it looked to me like they did more design and really thinking about things and giving us like a little taste of what the what future looks be. like. Yeah. Yeah, and it, so their stuff was more designed. They had mm -hmm. a Airstream trailer. That's right. Mm -hmm. That was self propelled mm -hmm. so and propelled. yeah you can actually just connect it to your vehicle and tow it i think you would and they said you have to use a model x from tesla or mm -hmm. something with that amount of power mm -hmm. so you can tow it with your electric vehicle and because it's self-propelled it doesn't you know burn as much of your battery because okay. it's a weight behind you etc mm -hmm. and then when when you get where you're going you can actually disconnect it from your vehicle and it could self-park yeah that was neat that was cool that was cool okay but you know, on the Thor side of, of that umbrella, they took a transit van uh -huh. that I think was already... Now, it wasn't the new e-transit vans that were out there. There's a company that upfitted that to electric. Obviously, it doesn't have a long range, so they put in a range extender mm -hmm. in there. But the design they did of it, and I'll roll this in for you guys. It was very thorough. Yeah, it, you know, this, this looks cool, but that looks futuristic. <laughs> you know, it had little mirrors on it and a bunch of cameras all over the place. And then it had like a, a you could, you know. Like a sunroof? Well, the window, it was like a window that. for the roof, uh -huh. so you could see through that like in your Tesla. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the windows go opaque by power. Mm -hmm. it was a the bunch bathroom of cool. was really nice. Yeah. It was like a spa. It's really yeah. a C. Yes. I don't, you yes. know, I, I think, like I, I guess we could say a B plus, but uh -huh. it's, yeah, it's a little bit bigger. It had a lot of stuff in the back of it. Mm -hmm. And I believe that the way they designed it is they probably got a rolling chassis, converted it to in, into electric, and then they did all this fiberglass stuff that looked really mm -hmm. cool. Yes. So I love that, that. So that was number five. Yeah, and it's number five. I just want to say it's it's it could have been higher up in this, but it's not actually available yet. We were able mm -hmm. to walk through it. Mm -hmm. We might not see that for a few years, but if you're going to actually see these vans, you're going to have to have an extender, and that's what I didn't like about what Winnebago did. Yes, if you if you want to see extender. it in the camper van space, it can't right. be 120 miles. It needs to at least be able 300. to do 300 yeah, plus, more. if possible. Yeah. Right. There you go. So number four. So number four was the Wingham OIC 450. Yes. Italian styled. Right. Class B <laughs> plus, I think. Yeah, I this was really that. cool. This was really cool. I, I do want to put another caveat to this. This is low down on our list at number Again, four. Right. Because. It is not available in the U.S. Not yet. It should be. They, they said it would be. They said it would be right. in last quarter, October-ish. We here. have not seen this yet. We have yet. not seen it in the U.S. yet. But it is available overseas mm -hmm. in, in Europe. And what was so cool about it, I think, one, it was the new chassis, which we're seeing out there nowadays yep. uh, from ProMaster. So mm -hmm. it had that real cool, sexy Italian from kind of fascia. design. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then everything was fiberglass. So this also mm -hmm. falls into a Class C for me. Right. But it just, but it was short. It was like 17 feet. It was feet. 17 yeah. feet and they packed everything in there. Yeah. A really nice size yeah, Just bathroom. like you, cute as a button, being Aww. short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they packed everything in there. Really nice size mm -hmm. bathroom, the bed that came down, the sitting area, the kitchen. It was yeah. just really well laid At Tampa out. RV Show, mm -hmm. this was kind of the winner of the show. It was. Yeah. It was. I, I didn't see this in Ocala, did you? No. And I also didn't see it at any of the overlanding shows. No. Um, if it's on a ProMaster chassis, it's going to be front-wheel drive. So I don't know if it falls into, you know, like your overlanding category. But it was this was pretty cool. It was awesome. It was, it was awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, and then later on in mm -hmm. the year, um, just mm -hmm. a notable mention, right? Right. We mm -hmm. did see Happier Camper at the Overland Expo East. Right. And they were using some kind of fiberglass type interiors. interiors right yeah, also. right now they have it for the Mercedes Sprinter. Mm -hmm. And so if you have a Mercedes Sprinter and you don't have windows already put in, you can do their complete setup. But it's fiberglass. So basically, Happier Camper makes mm -hmm. uh, trailers and stuff like that out of fiberglass. But now they've created an interior for that van that you can put in there. If you just bought the van as a cargo van, no windows and all that, you can right. do floor mm -hmm. and the walls and everything. If you already have the windows, you could just do the floor and then you can add stuff in there and it looks really professional. Yes. Yeah. I think they're going to work on uh, ProMaster versions as well as something for the transit. Right now it's for the Sprinter. Yep. Yeah. So very cool. We have a video on this. You guys can check it out. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That would be Eon RV. And we mm -hmm. saw this at Overland East. 
yep. in Virginia. Mm -hmm. And to yes. me, I think it's really super cool because it's like a little earth roamer. That's right. It's mm -hmm. also technically a C. Technically a C, <laughs> technically kind of chasing the echo. Right, exactly. So again, that Our was video's a called, Is This Better Than an Echo? Exactly, because yeah. people are looking for alternatives, right? right. Yeah. So, go ahead. Well, and uh, you know, this to me just looks so much like a little earth roamer. If you guys are familiar with earth roamer, that's actually a name, but it's also a thing in everyone's mind. Correct. And lots of folks out there making these on big trucks, mm -hmm. right? But mm -hmm. this was built on a four transit body, which I think is awesome, all wheel drive. Yep. It's a rolling chassis. Yep. So the back of it is just a big box, a box. Yep. which is super well insulated mm -hmm. because it's a big box. And really the features that we saw in that van, everything, um, behind the chassis inside that box is electric yes. runs off of electricity yes they, and had, was, yes they had a really neat um, entry access point from the driver's side to the coach side yeah they had the bathroom at the front which yeah is kinda the different. door that you go in yeah, yeah it's kind of good it's use like of sp space yeah. yeah they had a huge, huge bed. bedroom yeah. in the back had a sunroof uh, you could go up on the roof yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. nice nice design i think it's a nice layout and mm -hmm. you've got some flexibility but it's and it's also it can get off road and do things and it had a ton of storage in the back. Yes. The big thing that I like about it, Lola, it's in that two hundred thousand dollar category. The price point. So that's really good. Yes. In my opinion, mm -hmm. I know that sounds super expensive to folks out there, but as much storage and everything as you had in there, for mm -hmm. two hundred thousand, that's pretty good. Those earth roamers go way over that. Oh, I know. So two fifty, five hundred, a million. Well, talk about six hundred, <laughs> a million, two million. We've got some videos coming up with some stuff in that category yeah. as well. Because I know, you know, we like to stretch this a little bit of what we're into. So check out our Eon RV video mm -hmm. here. And that did pretty well. It did. All right. So number two. So number two is the Modvans MH1X. Slash X. Slash X. Slash X. Okay. okay so Modvans was actually in our top five last year. They were number one, right? They were number one. They were number one. Year. They're mm -hmm. awesome. So a couple of things, a couple of caveats we have to give here. Uh -huh. We actually own mod vans. I don't know if people know that, but stock. we own, we don't own a mod vans you, you van. You have a stock. <laughs> we own the company. You have a stock. A <laughs> little bit of stock. Yeah. So that's a cool thing I think about mod vans and the way they do everything. Mm -hmm. Anyone out there can actually invest in them. That's right. And you could start with 250 bucks. Mm -hmm. So Lola and I plopped down our 250 bucks. I think that bought us a couple of bolts. <laughs> or something I can I can claim ownership Maybe. over a chair at mod vans or something like that <laughs> but we are fans of what they do and to me I think this is a company they're smaller they're not as big as Winnebago right. or Coachman mm -hmm. that we are obviously fans of Coachman we think Coachman's mm -hmm. awesome and there, there's a lot of cool big builders out there what's even cooler to me and you know when you're smaller you can innovate and switch to stuff faster that's right so what they did this mm -hmm. year was the uh, electric on the floors, right? A couple lithium of things. On the floor. Yeah, a couple of things. You know, so everyone's got lithium batteries mm -hmm. in their vans, right? Now, typically, what I see out there, people do, you know, a couple of hundred, like two, three hundred amp hours wise, and then I some of the bigger companies. Even. Coachman has a six hundred and thirty yeah. amp hour so they're getting up there. battery. So Mod Vans is actually offering mm -hmm. a thousand amp hours as standard, mm -hmm. right? And that's not the innovative part of it. What I think is the innovative part of what Mod Vans is doing is that it's actually the battery is in the floor. It's in the floor. Yeah, so you lose about an inch in the floor. Typically, you know, with the setups, you're losing space under a bench, under a bed, mm -hmm. something like that. With them, you lose an inch on the floor, yep. and the whole floor is the battery. It goes inside a clamshell, mm -hmm. right? All the other electronic stuff is off to the side, but you got a thousand amp hours in there starting and you could go up to like 2160 that's right amp hours amp hours all the amp hours all the amp hours i know hank yeah. strange all it's the amp really, hours <laughs> it's really cool they're doing now they always had a pop top lola and i actually have two videos coming out at mod vans a factory mm -hmm. tour mm -hmm. and we actually went out to california yes i i drove out there and I then flew. you flew in I like flew. a princess yes i flew <laughs> <laughs> i flew in <laughs> i borrowed their van I went to Vegas for SEMA show. Lola flew out to Vegas and met me. Yes. And we went off to Death Valley we in went, their van. Yes. We did Death Valley all the way to the coast. Yeah. The California coast. In the Mod Vans MH1X. MH1X. That we did. We did. There is a video up from um, from when we went out to Overland East that we saw them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now in that van, they, they had a pop top before, which is awesome. But in built into the pop top is 600 watts on a solar panel. 
Yes. Right. And then Lots you could plug in another 400 mm -hmm. and that will help you charge up the batteries as well as driving. Mm -hmm. They've got, you know, they've got uh, all, all like you, a second alternator, all of that to help mm -hmm. you charge it up. Mm -hmm. But I just think it's really innovative that they put that in the floor as a clamshell. Mm -hmm. So everything can still come out of the van. Yes, it's still modular. You could take out everything and you could have the floor. If you really want to be crazy, you could take the floor out and upgrade it. Yes. You know, and they also, they're, so everything's electric outside of the powertrain. Correct. And they did their own electric heaters. So mm -hmm. they made these heater units. You guys will see that in mm -hmm. the How It's Made when I get around to editing that. Uh, <laughs> but they made their own heater units that they could put mm -hmm. everywhere that runs off of that battery. Because people may say, why the hell do you need all that? All the amp hours? All the amp hours. Mm -hmm. So us being in Death Valley, it wasn't hot. It was in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. It was cold. It was cold. And we were getting heat off of their heater units, right. we which you not, can put wherever you want to we in We were the not worried at all. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. we were off grid for days. Yeah. Through Death Valley to the beach. I mean, uh, Alabama Hills. Uh, yeah. We, we toured a lot of places in the van, and we were not worried about yeah. power at all. Yeah. And the space was well used and well laid out. I really loved the garage in the back. Yes, very Love big. the pop top. We used the pop top several yeah. times for sunsets. Yeah, yeah. Mod Van does like in the f the footprint of what you have with this van. Mm -hmm. They do a lot more, and yes. that's why we think they're super innovative. Yes. And but they adding this battery, and the adding battery. where they make their own heaters yes. and other things. Yes. It's amazing. That was innovative. Yes. So they so, they were our number two. They came down a little bit. So kudos to Mod Van yeah. for that. You guys will see why. So now this is an honorable mention. Sea sucker. Right? So why are they an honorable mention? How do they fit in here? Sea Sucker is a company that for a long time has been making vacuum suction mounts. Mm -hmm. that in the marine industry, right? Marine industry. Mm -hmm. They've also been doing it for cars. Like you have a Tesla oh, yes. and you have that glass roof. Right. So That's how right. do you put bicycles and stuff up there? Yeah. You can use Sea Sucker. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty awesome stuff. But we met them at SEMA show that I mentioned and mm -hmm. they're making stuff for vans. They are. Yes. They are. They launched a new camper van line. Yeah. And, and a, generally an overlanding line. You yeah. Yes. put stuff on your jeep camper oh, yeah. vans etc oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah as you can as you guys can see in the video we did with the Massima show mm -hmm. and then uh, recently we've actually got our hands on some of the products and used them they worked really great it was just yeah. a great way to extend the inside outside and have more outside living comfort mm -hmm. by being able to have your things on the door so uh, you know yeah. videos coming but yeah I think this is a great company and what I like about them is they are innovating they're right here in Florida yes they make most of their stuff I think just the hardware is coming from overseas mm -hmm. which is pretty much where hardware comes from mm -hmm. everything else is made right here in America and these guys are looking to get input from us and you that's right on what they should make mm -hmm. so we actually have a relationship with them you guys can find a link here as well as for some of the other stuff that we're talking about but I think Sea Sucker, we had a meeting with them and they're very interested to know what the van folks like ourselves and the overlanding folks like us are, needing, are looking for. Yeah, are yes. needing to make... So, that's really to, cool. Yeah, are needing to make getting out there on the road easier, more fun. Yes, more fun, Lola, but also practical for you to use out there. So you guys will see us doing quite a few more videos with them, mm -hmm. including we just borrowed like a very new van we're going to talk about here just now. Yes. But we borrowed one and we took a bunch of Sea Sucker stuff with us. Yep. Worked great. Right? Worked awesome. Yes, absolutely. You guys will see that coming up in 2023. Number one. All right. Drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this beat out mod vans that I think is really awesome. Mm -hmm. But it's because it's the new Ram ProMaster chassis. It's out. <laughs> it's out and big respect to that. We can't come on. You guys have already seen, you know, Ford has done stuff with the you know, with the transit, transit. chassis, mm -hmm. but we haven't seen anything from Sprinter van yet. Not yet. Right? We know this. there's going to be a new Sprinter van. We've yes. seen news about, okay, there's going to be a new Sprinter van. Mm -hmm. It's going to be all-wheel drive. You could get gas and diesel and all of that. Yep. Also, we've heard about the new ProMaster That's right. chassis, okay, and the upgrades to it. Yes, and that was the big news after the Tampa RV Super Show. I think it was like right. maybe March, April, the news dropped. Yes. And it was a big deal. Exactly. What folks liked about the OAC, right, mm -hmm. 
is that it had that new chassis on it, it that did. really new cool look. Yes, it did. So, you know, I know looks is not everything. There's really, there's great stuff inside of that chassis. Mm -hmm. And we were already seeing that in, tw in 2022. Yes. The stuff on the, at the end of 2021, really, we were seeing stuff that was coming from that chassis, but all through 2022 on the inside, but, mm -hmm. the, you know, but the same old look. Correct. Now the entirely new chassis is out, mm -hmm. and the first folks that got their hands on these entirely new chassis, front fascia, everything, yep. you know, new screen, the new everything. Okay, and I'll okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's Winnebago. So, <laughs> congratulations to you, Winnebago. No one else has put it out yet. So I think our number one video is new ProMaster chassis slash Winnebago Travado. Um, we did the G <laughs> and the GL. We did the 59K. 59K. <laughs> okay, 59K there you go. 59K is what we did. Uh -huh. Yes, so we did the 59K and the KL. And the KL we, we borrowed. Yeah, we yes. have a KL video that's coming out, not out yet. You guys will see that. We actually took it out for a couple days. Yep. Thanks to Sunshine State RV. Big thanks to them mm -hmm. for that. You know, they, that's how we get a lot of these new, your new vans. That's right. how you guys are seeing mm -hmm. that through the folks over at Sunshine State RV. So Winnebago... I think we said it earlier, mm -hmm. Winnebago, I think, out of the big companies that's out there, I, I think it, without a doubt, one, they're the most popular, they right? They are the most popular. They mm -hmm. sell the most they vans. They sell the most vans. They actually research stuff. Mm -hmm. So we've done videos on a van that they have out that's for people who have special needs, right? The Rome. Yeah, the Rome. The Rome. It's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of things that they're doing. They're the guys who innovated the Revel, for example, that everyone's chasing, chasing. 144s. Still. <laughs> yeah. And so for whatever reason, Winnebago, mm -hmm. they weren't able to get their hands on any transit bodies for the Echoes. There's a lot of Echoes out there that they just didn't finish and get to people. Mm -hmm. But they were able to get these Ram ProMaster chassis yeah. out. And we're seeing them out in the world and folks are already buying them in the 2022s. Correct. And they look yeah. great. Yeah, they're awesome. I almost Inside bought one. Inside <laughs> and outside. Yeah. Right. I'm so tempted to, to buy one, Lola. Just but because it's cool. You're tempted, but we know that the driving situation is not the best um, thing for you. Yeah, for you, you love yeah. it. You, oh, you think can, it works great. I can great. fit in there yeah. and drive it perfectly yeah, because I'm so. not as tall as you are. Yeah. So uh, if, you are, if you're a shorter person, you're going to love it. But listen, as a taller person and having actually driven it and everything, mm -hmm. I, I think really, you know, hats off to ProMaster for this. Yes. Um, the and that's Ram. Yeah, that's Ram. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing that it's missing is that I wish there was a little extra room, and I also wish that they would have also done all-wheel drive, but they haven't done it. The front-wheel drive is not bad. I think front-wheel drive, to me, is better than rear wheel mm -hmm. because your engine is right over the, the wheel, so the power is going right to it. I had to pick up. Yeah, because, they, because they have a 10-speed transmission. Right. Drove super yeah. smooth. The tech nice in there pickup. was awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the tech was mm -hmm. awesome, and I think Winnebago and what they have is a really nice layout as well in the mm -hmm. way they do things. So I'm super, I'm looking forward to Coachman, the Nova. Yeah, seeing what everyone else does with it. <laughs> yeah, I've looked at, so I've looked at stuff from Coachman in terms of they've got the, the new stuff on the inside of the chassis, right. and it's pretty, it's really cool. On the Nova. Yes, they have a better, you know, Coachman just has a better battery in there from Lithionics. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that's pretty awesome, but it, it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just one of those people that the way this thing looks is a big deal to me. And even though I don't have enough space, I would buy it because it's just so cute. <laughs> it's just yes. so good looking. Yes, it looks really good. Yes, but oh, I, I love my I love my van. You're not so. the only one that feels that way about the Pro, Mas Pro Master new yeah. look. Everyone was crazy yeah. about it when so it was announced. So. You, we got to give them kudos, I think, I for agree. that. So they have I to agree. be our number one and the best and the most innovative. You know, well, listen, a Pro Master is wider. Mm -hmm. Because of how they have everything laid out, you yeah, you felt, felt that. Oh yeah, yeah, I felt that being in there was it yeah. was very, more spacious. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of good things there, and I think people who don't have my uh, size problems, <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot. Of, listen, this is what's the most popular thing. It is. First of all, the ProMaster vans sell more than anything, regardless mm -hmm. of what company it is. Well, because of price, I think the ProMaster van is a good entry into the Class B camper van. Yeah. I just think it's more now affordable. all the prices are coming up, but you're yes. right. Because yes, of because of this new stuff, all the prices are coming up. Next mm -hmm. year, we're going to see Mercedes is going to put out a new Sprinter. The price is going to go up. Right. Yeah. This is going to be all wheel drive. Even on the right? Transit van, which we're going to get some cool stuff out there. Guess what, Lola? The Transit <laughs> what do you Trail? Uh, yes, I know. But I'm saying 
the price is gonna go up. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> the That's rent is too high. I mean, eggs, eggs cost more. So everything I mean, costs every more. Everything costs more. So um, it's expected. Yes, but that does lead us to our honorable mention, mm -hmm. Transit Trail. The Transit Trail. If you don't know about the Transit Trail, um, we actually have not seen one with our eyes. That's why no. it's an honorable mention. No. But there's tons of videos out there from Ford Pro. Mm -hmm. And basically, you know, Ford has been, they sell a lot of these vans for UPS, Amazon, et cetera, right? Folks mm -hmm. working with them, et cetera. Commercial but, vehicles. Yeah, but they also know that there's a big market for people who want to go overland and mm -hmm. camp out in the vans. So they made a van specifically for camping. Mm -hmm. It's lifted and it's got wider tires on it. It's not a dually. No. Which helps it out. Like, I think the duallys are great if you're on the road, mm -hmm. but if you want to go off road, duallys aren't going to help you. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's not dually, but it's lifted, wider tires, and a whole bunch of other things. You can get uh, two alternators in there. They can cut and put in a max, max fan, fan for you in the you. roof. Mm -hmm. It's got a good uh, front face. Look yeah, the front face mm -hmm. is real uh, sexy. Yes. So all of that stuff is coming from Ford, mm -hmm. right? And you can In buy it. 2023. Yes. If you guys look at their videos that are out there, they've done quite a few videos. Also, they've done some videos with folks, content creators like ourselves. They didn't invite me. And I'm totally not heartbroken about next, that. Next time. I'm next not time. sad next time. at all. Next time. This, we'll get the invite. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, so if you look at the videos that are out there, you'll see that the one that they're using as a demo van. What's the van do it? Yeah, the interior yeah, the was interior a Van Duet. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I and you guys have seen us do tons of videos with Van mm -hmm. Duet. I and do a factory think tour. Cool. You went we there have, this year. Yes. In 2022. Mm -hmm. In 2022, we mm -hmm. did a factory tour. We still have one video that we've got to put out actually with Van Duet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which was after the factory tour. Mm -hmm. Van Duet, I think, is really great. I think if you're not interested in plumbing, which some people aren't, mm -hmm. Van Duet to yeah. me is fantastic. Yes. Um, they've got really innovative solutions. My problem with them is I need the plumbing. We know. We understand. <laughs> you and lots of folks want the plumbing. Yes. So that's okay. But they're awesome though. Yeah, they are. Now they did the they did the van for the transit, but you know, anyone could pretty much do that and you could yeah. buy one and put your own plumbing right. in there e if you even, want. Even individuals that are handy can buy yeah. one from them yeah. and outfit Great. it themselves yeah. actually because they've done all the hard work. For yeah. you already. Yeah. So they're going to have uh, Ford's version, which is a, you know, like how uh, Sprinter has a 144. Mm -hmm. With Ford, it's a 148. Eight? Yeah. So they're going to have the super short one with the low roof. Then you can get a higher roof and you can get a higher roof and longer. So it'll be as big pretty much as this Transit, but just, you know, single wheels in the back. So you can get all of that from Ford mm -hmm. and it's pretty much... All the important stuff that you need comes from Ford, could be covered under your factory warranty, warranty mm -hmm. and all of that. That's and, great stuff. And then you could either build it up yourself from there or go to an upfitter. Yep. So I think that's fantastic and deserves an honorable mention. Yes, but you know, they put it there, they're talking about it in 2022. Uh -huh. And I think that uh, and there might be a couple of people who've gotten them, but we really haven't seen that yet. We'll see it next year. Next year for sure. Yes. So. I think that's that, Lola. That is it. Yeah. I don't know if I do. What do you think? Did I do better this year than last you year? You did much better this year. Oh. <laughs> you went on a bit about the Ford Transit Trail. Yeah, because I think it's awesome. Editing. Yeah. Worked uh, that out in editing. Okay. But. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do want to tell people here at the end, um, you know, listen, we're, there's a lot of stuff that I'm doing as a YouTuber, right? This is pretty much what I do for a living. Mm -hmm. If folks don't know, Lola's a pharmacist. And I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I make content. I'm really happy with Stranger Palooza as a channel. Yes. I think we get a lot of love from folks out there, mm -hmm. the companies, from the people. Mm -hmm. And it's awesome to get out in the world and see you guys. Mm -hmm. And we have so many big, awesome things happening in 2023. I'm just going to say for me that I'm really looking forward to sharing that all with you. And then I'm going to let Lola <laughs> have her mind and her say here and we'll end the video. Well, I'm going to agree with you there. It's been a lot of fun. We've had great adventures in 2022. I'm looking forward to 23 and of course sharing all that content with you folks out there and um, just building and growing together. Yeah. And if I could say this, Merry Christmas. And a happy yes, new can. year yes, to can. all the people out there. We'll see you. Uh, what's uh, what's our next big show? We're going to see people. Tampa RV Super Show. There you go. Yeah, we'll be there. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Let us know what you think about our choices. Were we wrong? Were we right? What should we do better next time? If you want to complain about how much I talk. I think you did good yeah. this year. You're babe. lucky you don't have to be Lola. <laughs>
<laughs> what do you yeah. mean? Because well, you got to deal with this all the time. You oh, can't edit oh, me no, in real life. No, I can't. Yes, there you go. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Uh, we hope you guys have a great new year, and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>